Hey everyone, it's Savannah and welcome or welcome back to my DLT. Before we get started with the tips and tricks for organizing your inventory in Disney Dreamlight Valley, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future post updates. I decided to go through all of my inventory and seriously organize everything in this game because it's gotten a little chaotic as you can see. So if you wanna see the ways that I organize all of my flowers, crystals, food, farming goods, resources, stay tuned. Okay, so first off, having chests in this game is so important. It's an absolute must for storing all your items and you're gonna need a lot of resources for all the quests in this game. Chests can be crafted using 25 softwood and 25 stone or if you have a chest and just put it in your inventory you can then go to Scrooge, ask to order furniture items and order as many chests as you want for only 1200 star coins. So sometimes that works better for me just depending on whether I have more money or resources at the time. So I definitely recommend taking some time to collect a bunch of chests so you can use them to house all your things. Now at the start of the game, you're also given this home chest and I've used mine to just kind of store all my resources for the time being. I'm still kind of figuring out what is gonna work best for me. And then I have another chest that I use to store all of my gems. So I have arranged them by the color and type as you can see because that just looks nice to me and helps me keep everything organized. So at the top row I have all the traditional gemstones and in the bottom row I have their shiny variations. So I really like how this looks and it's definitely an improvement to what I had before. So next up at my Goofy's stall, I have set up a little farm that we built together on stream. And as you'll see next to my Goofy stall, I have these two chests set up and I've just been kind of sticking all different kinds of foods in them, but there's really no organization here other than I know that this is where all my food goes after I've grown it in my garden or collected it from Wally's garden. So I want to give this a little spruce up and once again I like having the chest here because I can easily access my food inventory when I'm cooking. So I've gone ahead and added an additional chest and I'm going to designate these chests as one being fruits, one being vegetables, and the other one being miscellaneous kind of random items. So you'll see me adding those in now. So I lumped in the butter, the cocoa beans, mint, I started putting all my spices mushrooms, vanilla, anything that just kind of doesn't fit into fruits and vegetables. And then the first chest is going to be my fruit chest. So I'm pulling out all the vegetables from that one and adding them into the second one. If you didn't have the chests already set up how I did, this would be a lot easier for you because you can just add, add, add. But for me, I was kind of organizing them and moving them around. I debated on where the tomato goes because I know it's technically a fruit, but the game said it's a veggie and I kind of classify it as a veggie, so I'm leaving it in the veggie basket. <laughs> and then I'm going back to the first chest and adding in all of the fruit and just kind of going back and forth here. Now once I have all of the items in each chest I want them in, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lump together like items. Just like the ones that couldn't stack further if they're already in a stack of 50. So I'm gonna put all the mushrooms together, all the herbs together, just kind of group like items in each chest so everything looks tidy. I can see all the mushrooms together 
and they're not all spread out within the chest. So this just helps me. So here's the first one holding all of my fruit and then I'll show you the second one holding all of my veggies all nicely organized. So I really like this for sorting all my fruits and veggies and all my miscellaneous food crafting items. So yeah, I definitely recommend sorting your food like this. All right, so my next tip revolves around Moana's boat. So if you have access to Moana's boat, I recommend upgrading it as far as you can at any point you can because you're gonna get so many fish from Moana. It's so helpful. So what I like to do is go to her boat, collect all of the fish, and then I like to have a chest right next to her boat so that I can easily add all the fish to it. The only thing I really tend to keep on hand is the seaweed because I like to feed the sea turtles and use it to craft materials. And then also, of course, having this fish inventory is really handy for making food cooking recipes. So I definitely recommend adding a chest next to your Moana's boat as well. Another thing I desperately needed to sort out was my flower collection. I've just kind of been lumping them all together in my meadow here. So what I want to do is add in a couple more chests here. I've already been using two to add in some flowers, but I ended up just having a total of four and this is what is gonna work for me at this current point. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out bunch of flowers from the first and second chests and what I'm gonna do is start sorting them so that the first chest is all gonna be pink and red flowers and I'm gonna go in rainbow order going into the other chests. So I'm gonna go to the next one and this chest is going to become my orange and yellow flower chest. So you can see me here removing the flowers that aren't going to be staying in this other chest. So once again, if you didn't have chest holding flowers already, this would be really easy for you because you could just pick up all the pink flowers and add them in a chest or, you know, do whatever kind of thing works best for you. For me, I like to decorate by color and I think that's going to be easiest for me to try to find the, the flowers that I want. Um, but if you want to sort them by all daisies in one chest, all lilies in another, you know, that's totally at your discretion. So uh, let me know what you guys think ends up working best for you. In this third chest, I'm gonna add all my cool tone colors. So I'm adding in purples, uh, blues, and I also added in the green flowers. And my last chest is gonna hold all my white and black flowers. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go around and pick up all these other flowers, struggle with my pocket space in picking all these up, uh, and add them all in the chest accordingly. This process was a little tedious, but I felt like the end result was gonna be totally worth it. And also look at little Pua I had cheering me on throughout the whole thing, just made it totally worth it. So here you kind of see me again, I'm gonna start arranging the flowers by color within the chest. So just dragging and dropping them. So all the purples are clustered together, all the blues are clustered together, and then I'm gonna have the green at the beginning of the chest as well.
All right, and now that I have everything sorted away, here are what my chests look like. The first one is holding all my red and pink flowers. The next one is holding all of my yellow and orange flowers. The third one is holding all my green, blue, and purple flowers. And finally, the last chest is holding all my white and black flowers. I think this is gonna work pretty well for me. I think in the future, I would like to make like a cute little flower market or some kind of build using the chests and kind of displaying flowers or something. Something to just make this look aesthetic, uh, <laughs> holding all the flower chests. So if you have any ideas for a build like that, I would love to hear them in a the comment below. So another thing I wanted to mention with having all of my flowers sorted like this, you definitely have some perks. First being, I had a quest that I needed some flowers and I could easily go in my inventory and select the ones I needed for this quest for Elsa and it just made it so much easier. I didn't have to dig around the valley and look for all the flowers that I needed. Just made it super convenient. Another perk is that when you're crafting recipes that need flowers, you have them easily accessible as well. And don't forget, you can go to Scrooge and order more of these flower items without using materials, just costing you star coins. So definitely take advantage of that. All right, you guys, if you've enjoyed so far, don't forget to give the video a like. I have one more tip for you, and the game didn't want me to tell you this. My game ended up crashing when I was going to show you this. Anyway, I lost all that progress on my flowers and had to redo it all again. Yay! Anyway, if you go in the castle and visit Mickey's room, once you have this unlocked, there's three chests in here, and you can add items to them and take items from them so these are some other chests that you have at your disposal have you guys been using these i kind of forget about them because they're tucked away in the castle but definitely could come in handy in the future also i haven't played the game too far so i don't know if this room becomes used for something else all right guys so that wraps up the end of today's video just remember that these are things that have worked best for me at this point in the game i hope you guys will find these tips and tricks helpful if you have anything you've learned and would like to share with us in the comments below i would so appreciate that and love to hear from you guys i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye